But if you don't jump to the ball and take away the ball side of the cut, it's awfully difficult to defend. Lewis the guy as Travis, nice two man game, Johnson to Travis to tie it up again. And a fun environment here in Tuscaloosa, in spite of the fact that class is not yet back in session. And obviously, there's a football game on the minds of folks in these parts. And Avery Johnson up off his seat, clapping his hands, liking the pace and the execution in the early going for the tie. I think he likes the competitive spirit as well. His team came out ready for a fight. One thing that Alabama needs to do, they've got to do a better job of keeping the ball out of the paint, not allowing any straight line drives. Because right now, they're not really contesting passes. Johnson off a screen. Kentucky leads by three. To the little lead slip away. Yeah, that was the one that really hurt. They did not defend very well. And in most games that I watched from Alabama, I watched a fair amount of tape on them. They, they've had some lulls. And you can see the difference in the ease of getting to the rim and finishing when Nick Richards is not in the ball game and how difficult it was for Alabama when he was. Boy, Keldon Johnson squares up nicely, knocks down the 18-footer. Well, he's a he's a top 10 pick. I mean, he's a terrific player and, and never seems to force anything. Everything's always within the flow of the game, and he can play on both ends of the court. Look at this, pretty impressive stuff as Alabama turns it over. Alabama, unless they give up an offensive board, is going to get the ball back. Keldon Johnson and another crimson tied foul to block or change that shot such that it would be missed. And Keldon Johnson's a good player and he mm -hmm. top 10 in scoring in the SEC top five in field goal percentage. The WNBA has come to the defense of Maori Davenport. Every thinking person and organization is against this ruling made by the Alabama High School Athletic Association and change this ruling and do it now. They continue to trade buckets here at Coleman Coliseum as Petty turns it over. Now a chance for Kentucky to regain the lead and quickly will lay it in and do just that. Boy, Alex Reese can really shoot the ball. So can this guy. Hero a little bit strong. Long shot, long rebound. Boy, dodged one there. He can't leave him open in transition. And the baseline jumper for E.J. Montgomery, the freshman out of Fort Pierce, Florida. Knocked away, Ingram with the hustle, ball still loose, but eventually it winds up in Kentucky's hands, and Washington slams it home. I mean, Kentucky has missed absolutely everything in this second half. Ingram trying to back down Johnson. Ball still loose, and now belongs to the Cats on a shot clock violation. There's a there's a hero on the other other team, Tyler Hero. Don't need one on this one. Just play. Good pass. There's, Johnson with a much needed three. See, there's where the ball's got to go. Two point game. Hagens. Hero to win it. Alabama hangs on. And they beat Kentucky for the first time in six years.